I'm going to take a minute and show you how our live well works here in our uh, 248. Down over here in a live well switch, switch one. I have it in the down position right now. And for the factory, it'll come with a timer in the down position. Down position is recirculating. I had them take the timer out. I want it all the time. So down position is recirculating. And you can see that's what it's doing right now. Now you see all those bubbles come up. That's just because I added a venturi valve. Uh, the recirculating is really, really good. It works really well. Perfect when you want to uh, you know, lock up your well, chill your water down with ice or add salt. You don't want fresh water to screw up your mixture. Now, I added a venturi valve to add oxygen. That's what you're seeing there with all those nice bubbles. Now you want to switch to pumping in fresh water. I know it's a little tough to see because of the bubbles. So I'm going to turn it off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the center position so it turns off all the pumps. And now you can see that blue valve right there. So that's where the recirculating is. I'm going to go ahead and leave that open. It's okay. It doesn't hurt anything. Now the white valve there, that's your fresh water. It's open right now. So to go from recirculating the fresh water, you push your switch up. Now that's pumping in water from outside. So all fresh water is coming in right now. You see the water's already running out of the standpipe. You see we got some nice big menhaden down there. And uh, they've been in here for I don't know how many hours, Mike, four hours, four something hours, like that. At least. And we've had it packed. There's some in this corner here. And these round wells do a really nice job when you're overloading them like this. As long as you keep them running, you can see the scales going out. It's a great option when the water's cold. Just leave it on fresh water. Pump in when the water's nice and cold. When it gets warm, you want to switch to recirculating and ice your baits down. Especially in fresh water, you can add some salt. But you can just see how wickedly <laughs> agile these baits are. I mean, they could even even in this when they're all cornered up, they could be hard to get. Can grab one, Mike. <laughs> Mike has a hand. A bunch of bananas. This, 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 uh, this is what a human man's hand looks like. And this is what a Neanderthal's hand looks like. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fish there, I swear. Good job, bro. <laughs> yep, so that's it. We like the well. I think it's a great design for 2019 and up. Make sure you ask if you want that double system. Live wells. Great risky. All right, you can see here is the Venturi valve. Real easy to put in. Just goes inside this tubing here. You want to get it as high as possible. This air tubing comes around over here. And you want to get that as high as possible too. If you get it higher than the level of the tank, you should never have any problem with water coming in. Real simple, real easy. You can always plug it off if you decide you don't like it. Really cool tool. The Venturi valve made by Danco.